Loyola has struggled, to say the least, on the road this season. They're just one and seven. They did win at Binghamton. Beverly penetrating, and he'll scoop to the hoop and score. You know, give credit to C.J. Blythe. Shot 50% or above in all but one game this year. A dunk for Scott as Loyola gets out and runs a little bit. A Princeton-type offense, and he didn't want to give him a lot of time to run that. Great feed. Beverly to Walker, and a dunk answer. He's got a great mid-range game. He gets the ball in the middle and always looks to attack and score. Kosteka with a handoff to Harden. Funderburk said no. In a lot of different lineups. I don't know if they've necessarily seen this lineup very often with no Markel Johnson, no Braxton Beverly, and no Blake Harris on the floor. It doesn't matter that possession. No small man. He would not be pushed there. No, that was a good, strong move, but Walker didn't flinch. Braxton Beverly's got a quick trigger from way outside. One of those guys that you don't worry about. You know he's going to be there. He just got off to a slow start. Great pass, Johnson to Dorn. The run continues for the Wolfpack. The halftime break not cooling them off. Pretty move by Champion on a nice cut to get all the way to the rim. I think almost all of the time. Dorn with the rebound and push. Bryce now with 11 points for NC State. Oh, they've got 10 guys they can all deliver, and so you can't just key on one or two guys as Kosteka knocks down the three. Hart, well, he just kept going with it, kept persevering, and eventually lost the handle. Now it's five on four if the Wolfpack want to hurry. Spot up jumper from Torin Dorn. Oh, Hellum's a wow. finger roll. Reminded me a little bit of George Gervin. Is this the most <laughs> intense moment of the game when I'm shooting my second free throw? That's right, we're down, we're down a bunch. And... So NC State remains perfect against Loyola, Maryland. 5-0 all time against the Greyhounds. They stay perfect at home.